What is going on guys, we are back with another spawner tutorial today. So we've got the iron farm tutorial. I have made a video or two on these already. I just quickly decided to whip it up and just change it up a little bit. So it's not so basic and square. Uh, in the sky, once again for the second sky design. Um, but this one is bigger and, or well, it looks a bit more efficient again. But not only that, it's just, just different. So you've got, got the water pushing them along guys. Reasoning for that is so I'm trying to hope that once they spawn here, the water pushes them, it just kind of like gets them out the way, push them into lava, kind of hoping that they just get out the way and die a bit quicker, ready for the next lot of iron golems to spawn. The longer I had that water source, I would say the more efficient it will work. Um, so say I had it going, I don't know, another 16 more chunks out to where I am standing right about here. I would say there would be possible for iron golems to be able to kind of accumulate here while new ones are spawning. Um, <clears throat> if you get my drift. So this is fairly simple, there isn't much to it. I just made it up as I, um, like just now. So I thought, you know what, since I made it, it works, doesn't look too bad. Let's make a video and give you guys another, di a different design once again. Um, Iron Farms is one of the most efficient farms for Minecraft. Um, there are a few other various ones, but Iron Farms is one of the easiest. And essentially all you'll need is just to find a village. Uh, on PC Java, it's just three villages. On the console edition, you do need on Bedrock, sorry, yeah, console. You do need the the twenty villages and twenty beds. Um, I have seen some designs, and I have made a design where you don't have the villagers access to the beds, but regardless whether they can go to sleep or not, it still works. Um, as you guys saw, it was just spawning. Um, oh, that one's still getting illuminated, but it's actually working really well. We just set it up, just started rolling, so we're just going to quickly check all these chests. There isn't going to be too much, but it's only been literally two minutes or so. Look at all that. It's slowly starting to accumulate already. There's nearly iron in every chest. And there's another iron golem already. So you guys can see, it's very, very efficient. Uh, probably more efficient than the other ones. So I'm not too sure by how much exactly, but it just looks to be spawning a lot faster. And I would say because it's bigger, maybe. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make it and what you'll need really. It's just your, whoops, leave that on. Your block of choice, I just like to use uh, the stone brick wall as well. We'll just do that for the same design. Now you don't have to have it falling and dropping guys. I'll change that up and make it a bit simpler uh, for you. So what I'll do is I'll have the water, for, water flowing and then we'll have it, the hoppers just in line here. Added that in, added that, added that in like I said, because I was just messing around with it. I wasn't actually intention, intention I had no intentions of making this video. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like getting, yeah, I'm getting there, I'm tired. Um, I had no intention of making this video. I just finished making the episode 4 on the personal survival world. And yesterday we uploaded the episode 3 on the survival let's play world. So if you guys want to watch those, do check those out. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Without further ado, I will stop talking so much and give you the exact tutorial on how to make this. So, like I said guys, you will need your block of choice. Um, you'll need your 20 beds your 20 blocks that will turn your villagers into a tradesman type and your uh, 20 villagers of course we're just going to spawn them in but in a survival world you would have to lure them uh, guys speaking of that in my survival world episode 4 survival let's play world that's coming up in a couple of days we're going to be making one of these in survival uh, and have to lure and breed villagers from the village um, near our house to the spawner we're about to make so guys, if you're interested in how to do that in survival, then I'd recommend you go check that one out. Because that's coming in a couple of days. By the time you see this, that one will probably already be out. Um, but yeah, that's actually going to be quite exciting and first for us. We haven't actually... No, it's not a first. We have made one before in survival, but it was on the Java edition. So Bedrock's going to be different because you need 20 villagers. Like, that's a bit of a challenge. Uh, it's a bit unrealistic. I would say 10 would be normal. Like, to be fair, if you go to a village when you first spawn in a bedrock edition world the chances of them actually being 20 villagers is just yeah no so there's usually like, what seven or eight villagers maybe 10 but i don't know why you have to have 20 for it to actually work um essentially you could try it with 10 but it doesn't work guys it doesn't yeah but anyway so what we'll do is we'll build it next to it we'll build it just so that way you guys can see got the got the display version we'll get this one up we're building it in the sky again just so that way we can eliminate all chances of the iron golem uh, spawning on anything else. So what do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
13, and that one will be 14. That will do, it doesn't exactly have to be that high, it could be higher, it could be lower, but 14 is good enough, guys. I'm pretty sure you can even do it at 8 blocks high. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to build this out. It's still going. That's fantastic. And we're, look how far away we are. It's still working, and we look how far away we are. That's great. That's, that's awesome. Uh, the smaller one, my very very first version, did not work like that. You'd have to be standing right on it or right near it. Uh, but yeah, that's good. That's good to know. So we're going to bring this one out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so take that out. Bring this one out 10 wide. Actually, you know what? We're going to go 12 wide. 12 wide, guys. <laughs> it's not going to be the exact same dimensions as the display version but it's going to be the but it's going to be very similar very very similar just might be a block or two off so we'll go 12 and then we need to go 8 oh no sorry 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and that's 8 that's fine because once we put the wall up here that'll make that okay well we want it to be 12 didn't we uh, it's alright, it doesn't matter if we make it 10, so that way we can use less hoppers. Consider the less hoppers. So this one's going to be 7, and it comes down 1. If it was 8, then your water source would meet to that 8 blocks and wouldn't drop. Make it 7, that way that 8th block is the drop there, and it brings the water source back out another 8. So that's, what's that, 2? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So guys, I'll fill that in, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, we've got that filled in, so that's 8. It has to be 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, just double checking. Sorry, guys. Just really, really out of it today. So tired. Late night, once again. Didn't really get much sleep last night, actually. Uh, if you guys watched the episode 3, no, episode 4 that I'm just about, that just uploaded, or has, yeah, just uploaded recently, about probably an hour ago. I was mining and I was talking about how I was out on the family's um, home out there just doing a bit of whipper snipping or weed whacking as you guys call it and uh, come across some kind of weird type of plant that I have some kind of allergic reaction to as I was doing that so now I've got a bit of a rash on my shoulder from where it flicked down my shirt and uh, yeah it's been an itchy night that's all I can say itchy and uncomfortable I'm just gonna get some cream for that uh, okay, so you've got that fenced off. doesn't have to be too high. I just did that for that one. But that will essentially works. So what you want to do from there, guys, is just light it up. Stop those nasty mobs from spawning up here. You know, the skeletons and creepers and stuff like that. Yeah, we don't want them. So we'll light it up to avoid that. Okay. Now that's simple. Now if you were doing this in survival, you wouldn't do this first. You would do the underneath part first, but I'm doing this. Just giving you the top part first. As that's how I built that one. I built it backwards, but... If you guys know Stumps, he does everything the hard way. Uh, it's quite it's quite funny. So now we're going to bring this one down. Okay. We can actually make this glass. And it's only going to be two blocks high. You, only, you don't need it to be three blocks high. Whereas on the Java edition you do. Um, on this you only need it to be three blocks high. Uh, two blocks high, sorry. So it's good. And then we just have your platform. Which I will show you now just like that so we'll bring this one out actually we'll take those out and put a, a torch there we'll put torches inside the place too but just to give it more lighting spreading on the outside as well and then we just close that off okay now we're just gonna quickly make this a platform I don't want to do too much skipping, we'll just keep the keep the camera rolling. Hopefully it's not a 25 minute video. If it is, I'll make a couple of clips because I wanted to make it quick. Um, just because it's already, you've already seen a tutorial on how to do this. This is just a different design. A bigger and much better design, I might add. So you're going to put your two in here, guys. You know why. Because you're going to make your bunk, you're going to make pretty much a bunk bed system going on here. So, if, what is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it is 10. That one was 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then you break out the bottom ones. And you place your other 10 there. So you've got your 20 beds. Twenty beds for your twenty villages. Okay. 
We put some torches in here as well. Now they don't really need too much room, so now we can just put the ten along the bottom. Now these can be, just for an example, they don't have to be all these. But they do have to be a block, that way the villager can take a tray, which I have mentioned in the previous um, designs. If you guys want to check those out, they shouldn't be too far down on the channel there. Uh, I won't put them in the description because I already have th three links to put in the description. The Discord, the Survival Personal World, and then the Survival Let's Play World. So that is a bit confusing guys, but yes, we do have two personal, uh, we do have two survival worlds going at once, which is kind of challenging and exciting. So well, challenging for me and exciting for me, but just exciting for you guys. Uh, it might be a bit confusing for you too, which I do apologize for. So we'll get the fletching table, just an example. Pretend that we use 20 of these instead. Just, I thought that was an iron golem there, but it's those llamas. Just so that way you guys get the idea and it's a lot cheaper and easier to make. I would say, yeah, it is. It's just a flint and wood. So now you've got them in. You just need to get your 20 villagers that take on the trade, guys. So we've got three, four, five, six, okay, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to kill the baby just because I want to wait for it to grow up. There we go, so that should make that 10 wisps. Yeah, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Why aren't you taking up the trade, big guy? Why aren't you taking up? Hmm. So they usually take them up straight away as soon as they spawn. There's no. What are you? It's meant to be the smokers. Butchers. So yeah, but there's no smokers anymore. Uh, okay. Maybe I might just take them out and replace them. Oops. What are they bonding to? Oh, they're bonding to them. Oh, okay. Why is that? Cause it's so close. That's it's different. Okay, so let me just quickly. Uh, all right, guys. I'm gonna disable this farm because my villagers are bonding to that one because they're too close away. But you guys get the idea. I'll just quickly disable that. Get rid of those villagers and those blocks. Uh, just those blocks. So that way, they're actually no. I'll just do it on camera. Screw it. I'll just do it on camera. I don't understand. They shouldn't be bonding to this because where do all my villagers go? Oh, they've despawned, so those ones are reaching this one. Okay. That makes sense. I had 20 in here. You guys saw that. They were all... I don't know what happened, though. There's no zombie in here, so some of them must have despawned somehow. Uh, what? Yeah, whatever. Just go away. Stop jumping out. Because I don't want you villagers to affect this village. <laughs> okay, so now we're back over here. They should... Now I'll take that trade. Now I've got to get myself a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, nineteen, twenty, because we'll get rid of that green guy and the babies. The green guy would never take a trade, guys, if you didn't know the green one with the green is actually useless. Oops, sorry. This guy here with the green coat thing. Okay, so now we've got your 20 in here. They should all be taking up on that trade. Don't know why they're not, but they should be. Okay, so once they take their trade, that's when it'll start working. So we're just going to have to wait for that. I might have to restart the game. But give me a second. Oh no, never mind guys. It's these guys down here that jump out. They've taken over the trade. If I just get rid of them, that'll give these guys their original trade back. Oh, they're still jumping out. Oh, there must be a hole. That's how they got out. I must have left a hole in there. Stumps, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> oh, well, we'll get rid of them. Uh, we'll close this up. Eliminate all those villagers that are wandering around. And I should give all of these guys the trade. They were jumping out that whole time. I didn't even know. Alright, so what have we got here? Looks like they've all taken up their trade. We've got the cat spawning, which means that it's working. 
So now you're going to put your water in here, guys. I'm just going to bring this out temporarily just to stand on to put these down. Oh, I already got a victim. A subject, shall I say. Hello, good sir. You're kind of in the way though. Like, I don't like really want you to be there. Yeah, you're just in the way. You're just going to have to move it. Move it along. Another right is just incredibly strong. Okay, so now we can, whoops, sorry guys, now just place your hoppers down on top of your chest. Like I said, I'm not going to put the dropping system in this one, I'm just going to have it, the water going straight to the hoppers. You wall this off here, so they can't get away. Then you bring it up again, two more. Just like so. Reasoning for two is so you can have one, the middle one there for your sign, and then the top block there for your lava. Remove this temporary. I just have that because it doesn't, the shift click is the, you know, and then it kind of makes you go down on the console. So now all you need now is your lava and signs, and you have yourself an iron golem farm, guys. So while I do that, I'll quickly I'll finish up what I'm saying rather than do this, then make an outro. Uh, guys, we are almost at 1,000 subscribers. Oops, we're not done, sorry, i got to quickly fix this up. Um, nope, sorry. So yeah, so guys, as I was saying, we're almost at 1,000, oh no, we are at 1,000 subscribers actually. My bad, we passed 1,000 this morning, um, a few hours after making the other video, which is amazing. So for those who have subscribed, this is for you. I just want to say to all of you, thank you so damn much for all your support, all your patience, uh, all your comments and advice. I really appreciate you being part of the, the community, being a part of Stumps, because once again, without you guys, there is no Stumps MC. I could be doing this by myself and it wouldn't be, I wouldn't feel like there's a point to it. Do you know what I mean? Having an audience, having the community to talk to, to get advice from, to interact with, it's just, it's just a life-changing experience, not just for me, but I mean, well, mostly for me, but it's also impacting you guys as well because you guys get to learn a few things and be a part of the growth so like most of you have seen this and you're celebrating you're literally jumping out of your chairs with me because it wasn't so long ago we were on 100 subscribers it's been uh how long has it been exactly in three days in four days it'll be two months since stumps has done youtube and we're already at 1000 subs uh, put out almost like 180 videos, including shorts, long form and shorts. So that's your farm, sorry guys. And now we're slowly trying to uh, grow, no we slowly are growing. And before we know it, we've been a couple thousand. I haven't really set a limit past that guys, I'm not really one to go, yeah let's hit one million. Do you know what I mean? If I hit five, ten thousand subscribers, I'm honestly happy to sit on that. But at this rate, we are growing substantially well and I'm just so grateful to have all of you and that's all I wanted to say. Besides that guys, this is your Iron Golem farm. Now it works quite well as you saw over there, it's already been working. We're just going to get rid of these cats. I don't think they affect the spawn rate, but I don't like them anyway. Um, and the reasoning for having it too high, so you can still come under here if something goes wrong, you have to make edits or whatever the case is. You can still chill out under here. Um, say your hoppers and your chest ever do, get, say they won't, but if they ever do get flooded, what I mean by flooded is your chests are filled, your hoppers are filled, then everything that's supposed to be going into that will just be floating above your hoppers. Um, it would take probably quite a few hours for that to even happen, but even if it was was to happen, then you can just collect them without getting burnt. Simple as that, guys. It's exactly the same as the previous designs, only it's just got a bit of a, a transport system to that chamber, rather than just the square with the water going to one hopper. We've got a full collection system set up. It looks a lot better. It does take more time and more resources, but you guys saw what goes into that. You guys watched me build that. And I just hope you like the design. Oh, got a bit of lag there. Yeah, so I hope, guys, hope, I really hope you like the design, like the video, and uh, let me know what you guys think on that. Be more active in those comments, guys. I'm going to keep saying it in every video until you guys are, because that's what's most important to me. You, you can hit that subscribe button for sure, but uh, the more effort comes in when you use, hit those comments uh, and let me know what you think, let me know your opinions, or simple advice, like I keep saying. I just try to encourage that, because that interaction with you is really important, trying to build that relationship with you guys. We hit a thousand subscribers, so I'm not too sure. We were supposed to we were supposed to have our PC by now, so 
we're supposed to have the PC set up in the spare room with a whole little gaming section going on, camera mic, all of that. We're still using the console and the broken down headset and broken down like MacBook. Oh, even my, my even my console and my remote is broken, just like my car and well everything. I guess I'm just broken in general. Uh, but my point is, um, we weren't we were supposed to have everything set up so I could do finally sit down with you guys, do the one on one face cam. So that's going to come in the future, but I'm going to give it a couple weeks. I was supposed to do it around the one one k um, subscribe, but now that we've hit that, um, and I've mentioned a couple times, I've noticed nobody's really said anything back on that. So I'm going to give it a couple weeks. Mention it in a few future videos as well as this one and see your see your input on that. If you guys want to see a face cam, if you guys want to have a sit down video, so kind of like where I just sit down and just like introduce myself properly, uh, have a few things to say, sort of thing. Kind of like a vlog, but not really. I don't really like the word vlog. It's kind of lame. Um, just yeah, face just face reveal to be honest. Um, once we get the camera and the PC, then we can put our face on the screen. <laughs> so you can get my reactions when we die, when we laugh and make suits, lame jokes, all that other cool stuff. Um, but that is in the future, guys. We have a long, long way to go, and I'm actually quite excited, and I hope you are too. Uh, for those new viewers, if you haven't subscribed, smash that subscribe button, because if you don't now, I promise you, you will later. Other than that, I hope you guys are well. I hope you are safe. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a thing or two, and uh, enjoy the design. Take that, into, take that into your survival or creative world and make it bigger and improve it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you.